will we be seeing the brand new MacBook Air with an M3 chipset before the end of 2023 or will we have to wait into 2024? I want to tell you all the details about this including the MacBook Air M3 release date and price. Now just before I get started I just want to quickly mention here that obviously if you haven't worked out already i'm from the uk great britain and i'm english and obviously the way how we say certain words might be different to the way other people say it in different parts of the world so for example the word air we say air whereas for example in other parts of the world you might say air for example the point is the english language is spoken in different parts of the world and different pronunciations of words sound different to everybody but this is the way how i say it and this is the way how the english say it here in great britain or the uk so after getting that out of the way today i want to cover what the new macbook air m3 will do for us with giving you everything on the specs and the latest on the macbook air 2023 release date and price but let's get started where we are with the macbook air so within the last two years we've had a brand new design 13 inch macbook air and just this year at wwdc 2023 we got introduced to the larger brother macbook air with a 15 inch display both these macbooks have big changes with a new design a new color magsafe 3 and of course the m2 chipset what's got around about 20 30 percent more power than the current m1 chipset both MacBook Airs are the only MacBooks to have no fan inside to give you a complete silent experience. But later on this year, in 2023, even bigger changes are expected for the 13-inch MacBook Air. So what I would say right now, it doesn't look like any of these changes that you're going to see in this video are going to be coming to the 15-inch MacBook Air as it's still so new. So this is just for the 13-inch model. We've had reports recently like from Ming-Chi Kuo telling us that the M3 chipset is coming at the fall of 2023 and the MacBook Air will be one of the debut devices to have this chipset inside. We've also had other reports telling us that Apple also have booked up most of the slots from TSMC who make Apple's chipsets with the M3 having a 3 nanometer die. The 3 nanometer die is very important as it means that the M3 transistors can be made even smaller and on top of this this would mean efficiency in speed and also power consumption before even Apple decide to add more cores or crank up the speed on those cores. With the M2 chipset being about 20 to 30 percent faster than the M1, the M3 could be around about 70 percent faster than what we got with the M1 with these improvements and it would be a worthy upgrade for anyone who's got an M1 MacBook Air or say the M1 MacBook Pro. This also leads me on nicely to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they could come true with the next generation of the MacBook Air. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the next MacBook Air anyway. So, release date. By fall or autumn of 2023, the MacBook Air M2 will be coming near to 18 months old. When the M2 MacBook Air came out, the M1 MacBook Air had been out for about 18 months. It seems likely that Apple are going to be doing the same again and starting the M3 journey at the end of 2023. As I've said before, Minchi Ko believes that Apple want to release the M3 chipset in new devices before the end of the year. It makes sense for Apple to do do an event in around October or November time of 2023 to release chipsets in the MacBook Air, the smaller MacBook Pro and even the iMac. There's even another report that has come in recently, what we've had from Mark Gurman as you can see here, and he's also confirming that the M3 chips are on their way, coming in around about October 2023, so at the time of making this video, this is around about 80 days from now. The event is most likely going to happen anywhere between mid-October to early November as Apple want to have their iPhone event first in September time and have all their iPhones and other products out before another event. However, as we get closer to the end of summer, a more clearer picture of when the M3 chipset will be coming out with the MacBook Air 2. 
Now, just quickly guys, I want to talk about this channel's brand new giveaway. And if you tuned in earlier this week, we did the giveaway where we gave away some AirPods. We had some very happy people of the AirPods Pro. And then we also had someone super happy with their brand new Apple Watch SE. And then finally, we also had something super happy with their brand new Apple Watch Ultra, what is going out to them. Now, one other thing I also mentioned on this live stream is that we're doing another giveaway, and it is for this. It is for an iPhone 15 Pro Max. You heard me right, an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber before the end of the year. I'm going to be doing another live stream between the 25th of December to the end of the year, so the 31st of December. And it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna make your year amazing next year and having an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And all you need to do to enter into this live stream that I'm going to be doing is basically put down a comment in the below of this video here of what technology you're planning to still buy in 2023. Whether this is Apple technology or whatever, something else, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you are brand new here, make sure you are a subscriber to enter into this giveaway and also hit that notification bell too, because you'll also want to be notified of when the actual live stream is going to be happening, because you want to make sure that you could possibly be the winner of this iPhone 15. 15 Pro Max. Now again, I'm going to say this like I always do. Sadly, there's a lot of people wanting to spoil it out there. People impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp them, Telegram them, all this kind of good stuff. And also telling you to part with your money as well for shipping. Please do ignore them or better, please do report them as you can see right here. But let's move on and do a summary of what the 2023 MacBook Air is going to give us and its price as well. So the MacBook Air M3 will have the normal 13.6 LED Retina display and this will come in at a resolution of 2560 by 1600. Again, we'll have the offerings of storage of 256 gigabytes all the way up to two terabyte option if you wanted to pick that. The brand new M3 chipset is most likely going to be coming this time round with that 10 core CPU and also a 12 core GPU. But most importantly is going to be that free nanometer die that's going to make everything more efficient and a bit more powerful too. We will probably still have the option between 8 gigabytes and up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. And then the actual body itself will be very similar in design. It'll be an aluminum body or an aluminium body and then obviously we'll get MagSafe free, the two USB-C Thunderbolt ports as well. Nothing really is going to change here. And the same with colours too. We're going to get Midnight, Space Grey, Silver and that Starlight. The centre stage camera is still going to be housed inside that notch and it'll be a 1080p camera and battery life will be up to 19 hours this time round, mainly because of the efficiency in that M3 chipset. And the prices, they're likely to stay around about the same. So with an 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 storage, that will cost you about 1,199 US dollars. But that will probably be a binned version of the M3 chipset. Then 512 gigabytes is 1,399. 1 terabyte, 1,999. And then 2 terabytes will be 1,999 US dollars. So that is a summary of the new MacBook Air M3. But my wishes for the MacBook Air, I want to talk about those now. And that is to do with thermals. So as much as Apple have made the MacBook Air to have no fan inside of it, and we had this with the M1 and the M2, something tells me that with the M3, the chipset is going to get even hotter than those two previous chipsets. So for this, I would actually like to see a return of the fan back inside the MacBook Air. And for it to only kick in when it really needs to. So say when you're exporting a 30 minute 4k video then three or four minutes into that export the fan would kick in just to help with any kind of throttling issues however those are my thoughts and do you agree with them do you think that the macbook air should remain fanless also share with me what your thoughts are for the m3 macbook air 2 well guys, it's also time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure that you press the like button. At the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you soon. Bye bye.